Hey, Uncle Bart here with this week's College Cuisine, and yes, I am really looking down to this camera. Well, I should be looking at that. That's I'm looking at me. I see my monitor. I'm looking at you now. Um, since I'm going to be making pizza today, I want to make sure you see making the pizza instead of me. So, everything right now is from the neck down, which <laughs> could be a good thing. Anyway, ready? Let's get making some pizza. Now you've already seen me make the pizza dough, same as the bread dough. Flour, water, yeast, and thyme. This yeast has been developing for about, ooh, day and a half. It's good to let it rise, pound it down, separate it like this, and let it proof in the fridge for about a day. It just makes the dough a little bit more stretchy. It, you form a great crust, you know, and it tastes good. Anyway, so put some flour down on the board, and look at how nice and soft that is. We don't want to lose too much of that. So we just kind of spread it around a little bit. Oh, and today we're going to put it in a toaster oven. Since this is college cuisine for college students, um, that was, that was the original of the reason for the broadcast. But I'm doing it this way because some people just want to make one small pizza. Some people have those fantastic uh, little ovens that they do practically anything. And i got to be real honest with you. If it wasn't cost so darn much, I'd get one. They are cool. And they're about the same size as my toaster oven. So here we have the dough. You're stretching it out. Making sure it has a bit of a lip to hold in the sauce and the cheese. Now here's the pan. We're going to put this onto here. Voila. And stretch it out onto the pan. Now you should have seen there's already a little bit of oil on the dough. All we have to do is spread it out now gently. You want to stretch it out. I got to be very honest with you. I never could do all that flipping stuff where you toss the pie crust and stretch it out. I've never been able to do that, even when I had the arms for it. So, not even going to happen. But I can stretch out the dough from the crust out. So this almost looks like what we would call in New York a mini Sicilian pizza. When I first moved to Maryland, I went to this place called Pizza Boy in Rising Sun. And I said, I'd like to order a Sicilian pie. And they said, what's that? And I said, you know, square pie. Oh, that's just a square pie. And then, of course, you know, remembering I live in Wasp Central. So, oh, in case you don't know that, Wasp is white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. That's what Italians call anything not Italian and Catholic. So, my two nephews are of the... Uh, waspy ilk, but thanks to me and their mother, who has some Italian blood going through those veins, they appreciate Italian food. Her husband, my friend Ted, total 100% wasp. I mean, salt and pepper is too spicy for this guy. And trust me, I never let him forget it. There you go. Try to get a bit of a lip there. And now we put on the good stuff. Here is a jar of, well, a Chinese tool container of Uncle Bart's basic tomato sauce that I made the other day. And you'll notice it's a little bit thicker. I let it cook another 45 minutes so you can put it on a pizza and it doesn't run all over the joint. Alrighty. So here we go. Some nice pomodoro de zuga. There we go. And I like a lot of sauce. Yeah, I know I saw the fly. Well, I live on a horse farm. I can't help it. Uh, don't worry. It doesn't get in the food. There we go. Now. Nice. We put on some cheese. 
good old fashioned mozzarella. Not too much, remember, this is a small pie. Maybe it's time to like a good cheese pizza. And on this one, I am going to put some sliced mushrooms. What I did, where did I put the mushrooms? Oh, here they are. I sliced the mushrooms up nice and thin. See? And I coated them with a little bit of olive oil. I think I told you that when we did the stuffed mushrooms. So it transfers the heat a little bit better and a tiny bit of salt. Because you want these things to exude some juice. So we have a nice tiling of Avonja, as we say in Italian. That's what my nephews had to say, Avonja. And one time they were with some friends of theirs and they were like, fungus! And the kids kind of went, eh! <laughs> Yeah, I got yelled at that day. Big time. Anywho. Here we go. Now, the toaster oven, that ticking that you hear, is the toaster oven preheating. I have it on full toast right now. And what I'm going to do is slip it into the bottom rack and turn it on to bake. Rather, the top rack. Because I want the bottom of the crust to cook first and then we'll hit both then we'll hit it with both uh, our blazers all going and then it'll finish cooking the pie in the meantime we're gonna make a second pie that my aforementioned Fred Ted is gonna take to his dad today Voila. and I'm gonna cook this in the regular oven you just won't see all that father all going on because I'm not, again, not built to get up and down like that. So while this is going on, let's get a little bit of olive oil at the bottom here. It's always good to have a weed dram of, of olive oil because it, 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 I, plus I like it. I mean, if I had a real pizza peel, let me just do that. Makes it though a lot easier to handle. If I had a real pizza peel, it'd be a different thing, you know. And if, like I said, if I could flip, I cannot flip. I do not flip. I will not flip. But you can stretch the dough. There we go. Stretch it from the center out. So again, you have the lip. You can always make a lip. There we go. Now we're going to let this rest a little bit. We'll have a little lap dissolve in a second. Because what's the matter is the, all the gluten is making it snap back. And I'll just let it relax a little bit and then I'll stretch it out a little bit more. See a little bubble form there? That's, see, that's what you like, bubbles. If I had a real pizza oven, my cousin Mike in San Marino had a house and it had a pizza oven in it. And it looked beautiful. I never, I remember to say, I never saw it. I saw the videotape of his old house when my mom and dad went to visit him for a while. And, um, oh God, he treated them like kings and queens. So, all right, there we are. I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and sauce it and cheese it up. Uh, no mushrooms on this one because I never been quite sure whether or not they like any mushrooms. So here we go. Some tomato sauce. You know, I'm the kind of, I like, especially a thick sauce like this, 
on my pizza. Now, a friend of mine, Jerry Cantonella, he would uh, bring over something called a tomato pie from a pizzeria near him. All it was was pizza dough, thick like this and Sicilian style, with a half an inch of tomato sauce, just like this. And I say, well, two things. Either they make a really good sauce, or they use... Um, there's only one store brand of tomato sauce I've said I would use. You know, only for pizza now. And even for baked ziti. That's pre-made. It's called... Now, this is an unofficial endorse, endorsement. Unless someone from that company is listening. Ha! Huh? And they want to give me some money for sponsoring. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Don Pepino. They have a pretty good canned sauce. Mostly because it's just what I put in it. Basil, garlic... Salt, pepper, no sugar. All right, here we go with the cheese. And voila. Now, I'm gonna cover this up. And later on, I'll put this in the oven. And since I'm not editing this episode until later this afternoon, I'll take pictures and or video of it and show it to you. But that's the regular kind of pizza pie. You ready? There we go. And now, ooh, let's check out the other. Oh, that's doing very nice. That's doing very nice. That's going to take a little while to cook. So, um, we're going to have a lat dissolve here. This pie will disappear. And then uh, we'll start checking out the other pizza. And maybe, maybe, I might make a few stuffed mushrooms um, because Fred likes the mushrooms and I want to send him some. So here we go, lap dissolve. See you soon. Okay, I had to go to my second camera, so hopefully you're seeing the food. I'm about to take the pizza out of the oven. Here we go. We're using this instead of a pizza peel. And there you have it. One toaster oven pizza with mushrooms. I think that looks pretty good. Well, that's it for uh, the pizza connection today. I'll get picture and or video of the round ones and put it in at the end of the episode. But in the meantime, I'll say eat more and enjoy. This is Uncle Bar for College Cuisine. Um, see you next time. Where maybe... Oh, by the way, forget the stuffed mushrooms. I ain't going to do them on camera. Well, I'll just have them look at the crab stuff. Maybe next time we're going to do some pierogies. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Now, if I had a theme song, we'd play the theme song over the pizza for a while. Da, 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 da. I don't have a theme song. Good night.
There's not enough light. 